What's up guys and welcome to a new video and today we're gonna be learning how to make your own custom HDRIs using your phone so yeah let's jump right into it. So to start you're gonna log into your phone and download Google Street View. When it's installed you're gonna open it up and click the little camera button down in the corner. Now these weird dots will start to appear so what we're gonna do now is stay centered and track them down with your camera. So we can see that it's starting to take pictures and you're basically gonna do this for the whole scene and later it will merge them into clean looking HDRI. So now when we're done we can hit the little checkbox and it'll start processing the photos. Now after a little waiting we're done. It will directly transfer to your camera roll so now you can just email it to your computer. If we now open up Blender we can go over to the world tab and here we can change this to an environment texture. Now we can just click and choose the image we just emailed. Now if we change over to render view we can see that we have a working HDRI. But if we add in an object now, we can see that it doesn't look very realistic. That's because this image is only 8-bit and doesn't include that much data. So to mimic a higher bit depth, we can bring the brightness up to 20. Now it looks super weird, but to counteract this, we can add a gamma node and set it to 2. Now it's starting to look very good in reflections, but the HDRI itself looks super weird. Um, I recommend not using this in the final render and just hiding it. Okay guys, this is William from the future and I actually found a solution recently how you can hide this garbage but still keep like the lighting from it. Uh, so yeah, if we go here to the world editor and uh, add a mix node, mix shader here, and duplicate these two, set this back to one and mix these two with each other. So this is the one we want to see, but this is the one we want to cast light. So we can mix these using a light path. And if we plug the camera ray into the factor node here, um, we can see any second here that it will it will keep the reflections from like this. It will get the correct reflections from um, the from the uh, over overly contrasted one, but we will still uh, like see the the actual image quality. So you can like use the background now. Yeah, back to William in the past. Yeah, that's it, guys. So thanks for watching and smash that like button and follow all the good stuff. Also, thanks to my patrons for keeping this channel alive, and if you'd like to have access to my project files and some exclusive tutorials, you can find a link down in the description. Peace out.